Welcome back everyone to the channel with too many names that makes no sense. This is Daniel, and I'm here. I've been actually wanting to make this video for a long while. Um, it's almost, I guess you could call it an FAQ video, all right? So I'm going to be answering some of the questions that get asked the most about my channel. Um, because first of all, uh, I'm the number of comments on my videos continues to go up. So it's becoming more and more difficult for me to respond to every single question like this. Um, I considered putting together like a list of answers that I could just copy and paste, but instead I'm going to make this video so that I can justify not responding because I have put made a video. Aren't I nice? Seriously though, I've got a few questions, I guess you could say. They're kind of summarized general questions that a lot of people have asked over time, especially if they're new to the channel. And I think this will become my new channel trailer for a while, just so people who are new to the channel can go see that this is the top pinned video, all right? Um, if you ever see a comment asking any of these questions, uh, if you'd like to help me out, I would recommend showing this video to them or giving them the link. All right, so here we go. Number one question, I made a quick list of questions. Why does your channel have so many names? There's no real reason for this. Uh, people have also asked me what my channel's names mean. My name is Daniel, okay? Deathstroke9 is a gamer tag that I've had for a long time, and I kind of used it for a different YouTube channel that was about gaming, and it carried over to this one. Dicon, dissectional, dicon or whatever can mean whatever you want it to mean. Go look up the meaning. It can, it can mean whatever you want it to mean. All right, there's a few different interpretations. I like all of them. Uh, so yeah, there's even some funny ones. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then obviously my name is Daniel. So yeah, uh, number two, this is a pretty big one. Why do I read the lyrics to stuff? Or other people saying, just listen to the music, dude, right? So that is kind of the concept of my channel. If you do not like that, I would recommend not watching the videos. That is almost the, the gimmick or the shtick for every single video I make. That's why I made the channel, is because I used to watch reaction videos to some music that I liked, and I did not like that they never elaborated on it. Maybe some reactors do, because there have been a few people who talked about other reaction channels, like, uh, off the top of my head, Andy and Alex, who talk about, like, the, the musical composition and how everything was put together. You know, some, a, a video that adds to the song itself. And that's what I want my channel to be able to do. If I'm just making a video of myself listening to music, that, to me, is not a good video. I understand that there are people who would rather the videos be shorter, um, but again, that's kind of what my channel is about. If you do not like that, I would recommend not watching the videos. There are other reaction channels that do what you're looking for. Maybe watch a few of mine, get an idea of what I'm doing. If you don't like it, by all means, say goodbye. Um, I personally love literature. I like the lyrics of music, okay? Uh, and then I guess a good, a good thing to just address is what is my channel? My channel is mostly a reaction channel. I've made a few other types of videos. I've done a couple album reviews, and I've also reacted to like a YouTube video and a commercial and some stand-up comedy, okay? So I react to some other things, but the majority of my videos are musical reactions. I also did one movie reaction, you know? So I try to analyze things. Uh, that's part of my of what my channel is and again if you don't like that just click off all right <clears throat> why do i pause things and how come other people don't have to there's a lot of different answers to this and i've given I'll, i've told people and responded to this so many times so i'm going to try to summarize all the reasons number one and a lot of people also like to talk again about andy and alex who Sorry, my uh, sister just came down here. Okay, I'm going to again use Andy and Alex as an example. People say that they do not ever pause the songs they're listening to. The number one reason for that is because I've seen and I've proven on the channel multiple times and I've seen that if you pause the songs, 
there's less of a chance they're going to get blocked. Lots of people ask me how blocking works or what constitutes a video being blocked. And the simplest answer is YouTube's not very upfront with us about how this works. And I suspect they have different agreements with different music groups than the things that are blocking stuff are mostly bots, which make mistakes or block things that didn't need to be blocked or don't block things that should have been blocked, right? So there's, there's no one answer to that. But I have seen that if I pause the songs, it decreases the chance that my videos will get blocked. However, there's, and, and if you look at Andy and Alex's YouTube channel, they have a Patreon page where they post stuff that gets blocked. And they have a lot more stuff blocked than I do, uh, which I think also shows that, you know, playing the song without pausing it can lead to more blocking happening. Uh, shout out to Andy and Alex. Go check them out if you want to. They're another great reaction channel. Okay, but... There's another reason I pause stuff. When I make these videos, I, I consider myself to be something, or I want to be an artist. I'm an aspiring artist. And I think it's kind of, the concept of a reaction video is kind of weird to me. Um, I enjoy making these videos. And because I try to add something to the things that I'm reacting to, I feel like it's a little bit more justified. But I don't personally, think that me playing another person's art in its entirety is a good idea. Just for my personal sense of ethics or my own moral compass, I want to pause the videos. Even if it did not mean that it would, even if it had nothing to do with it getting blocked, I would still want to pause it. I don't want to steal or plagiarize another person's artwork um, and post it on my channel, you know? That's, that's just not what I want this channel to be. So that's another reason I pause stuff. Okay, moving along. That, was, that took too long to answer that. Um, people have asked me why my uh, videos are important or why my opinions matter. Most of the people who ask that cite other review channels or reaction channels who are like, do, uh, or like um, uh, music teachers or vocal coaches who react to stuff. And the answer is I'm not a vocal coach and I'm not a music teacher. Um, I'm currently 17 years old and yeah. Why do my videos or opinions matter? To be honest, they really don't. If you don't like them, you can feel free to leave. Um, they matter because I'm able to post whatever I want to YouTube. That's why, almost whatever I want. Uh, I can post them and that's why. I enjoy making the videos. Other people have told me that they enjoy the content I'm creating, and that's why I'm going to keep on creating it. Uh, next question is, what happens when a video gets blocked? So some people don't seem to get this sometimes. So when a video is blocked and I post it on my uh, YouTube page and you are listening to a video and there's no song, like it, it skips over the part where I'm going to listen to a song, check the pinned comment or check the description, okay? I will have posted a link to uh, my Patreon page. Now, normally, the posts on Patreon, you have to, you know, be a patron to see them. But if I post a video on YouTube and it has a link to, a, to you know, a thing on, uh, on Patreon and it's like, all right, this video got blocked, here it is. It's gonna be free, you can watch it even if you're not a patron. There will be a link in the description or in the pinned comment. Click on that link and it will take you to the video with no, you know, song cut out of it. Because when a video does get blocked, a lot of times I'll cut the song out and repost it. So it'll just be me talking, there won't be any song. And then I'll pin in the comments the link to the full video. All right? Um, I appreciate you guys understanding why this happens and why I need to do this. Um, yeah, so... Moving along. We're almost done. Thank you for joining me, by the way. Uh, then people also ask, why don't I react to their specific requests? And also, do I need to pay you? Do, do, they, do you need to pay me for requests to be taken? And the answer to the first question is, um, with 
12,000 uh, subscribers as of when I'm making, actually is it 13, Never mind. 13,000 subscribers as of when I'm making this, it is impossible for me to take a request from everybody. All right, I look for what seems interesting to me. I look for what gets lots of other people saying, yes, do this, and what gets requested a lot, or what comments will get like a bunch of likes and stuff. Um, and every once in a while, I go into my Patreon uh, list of suggestions and pull a couple out of there. But no, the answer to do I need to pay you for requests is no. There is pretty much nothing you can do to guarantee that a request will be reacted to. My channel is not... Um, hmm. People can request stuff because it's what gives me you know, new videos to make. But they're all suggestions. And unfortunately, I hope that no one, um, yeah, it's difficult. That part is actually kind of difficult. I wish I could react to everything everybody asked me to react to. But the reality is I'm getting hundreds of requests a day and it's impossible to do. Keep on suggesting stuff. I appreciate the suggestions. You can suggest whatever you want. Just don't expect me to get to any of them because the chances are that I won't. All right, it, it's, it's weird how it works, but the answer to the second question is you cannot pay me for requests. And then people also ask me, how do you take requests and do you have a list? And the answer to do I have a list is no, not really. Again, I kind of have an idea of what like full albums I want to do in the future and what order I want to do them in. For example, we're going through Jethro Tull's entire discography, mostly in order, um, album by album. I'm going to be doing the same with the Beatles because so many people have told me how influential they are and I kind of want to see the the arc of the, of their of that group. But the the true answer is yeah, I just kind of do you know what I feel like doing, I guess. Um like I said, I do what seems interesting to me or what gets lots of requests and every once in a while I'll go into the Patreon page and just look for a few. But again, even on Patreon, I get hundreds of requests. There are 200 patrons, a little over 200 patrons right now, okay? And I really appreciate that. Um, but uh, if every single one of them asks me to make one video, and the majority of them will request a bunch of videos, but if every single one of them asks me to make one video, that'd almost be, that'd be about half the number of videos I have on my entire channel right now. Um, so it's just, it's difficult with that. So, yeah. And now the final question is actually about Patreon. Is people are like, why do you have a Patreon page? Why do you put videos on Patreon? Um, people have called me, uh, they said that by making a Patreon page, I'm like super uh, greedy and don't understand the world. Um, and the the ending answer to that is, I put videos on Patreon when they're like full album reactions because I want to be able to deliver value to the people who decided to become patrons. Because I do not like the idea of people just um, like supporting me without me giving anything back in exchange for that. Uh, so when I post most of the videos on Patreon that are videos that other people can't see, it'll be Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, full album reaction, or... Porcupine Tree, uh, what's the name of that album? Fear of a Fear of a Silent Planet? Fear of a Blank Planet? Which one is it? Whatever, the Porcupine Tree album that was so awesome. Um, and makes me want to listen to more Porcupine Tree or the, or the Beatles album that I did. You know, that's, that's what's the majority of the content that's on my Patreon page. And a lot of people ask, why should I join Patreon? And the answer is you don't have to. Patreon is there so that if you want to support the channel that's the number one reason i made the page is for people who willingly want to support the page uh in a, in a monetary way and you don't have to do that it's not going to guarantee you requests um and all it's going to get you is a, is some videos on patreon uh it's not going to guarantee you interaction from me either because i already I'm still reading and harding almost every single comment on my channel, so there's really no difference. It's if you want to support the channel. No one's forcing you or asking you or, t or 
uh, well, I'm asking, but no one's forcing or telling you that you have to support uh, me on Patreon. And that's kind of the way it's always been, but it's become more. It's evolved as time has gone on and more people got on the, the bandwagon for the Patreon page. My, the, the way I've run it has changed, and this is, this is the way it's going to be for the foreseeable future. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, saying all this because... I don't know, I get a lot of comments of people like not understanding some of these things, which makes sense. So I thought I'd make a way for people to see. So I don't know what I'm going to call this, but anyway, if you stuck around, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it doesn't seem like a rant in any way. Uh, I'm just trying to answer some questions anyone may have. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate, very much appreciate, not only people who support me on on like a Patreon page or whatever, but also the people who just subscribe to the channel or who just literally just watch the videos. You can even dislike the videos. Every single, and some people talk about trolls, right? They're like, oh, you, you have so many dislikes on your video. Every single view is good. Like, <laughs> dislike the video all you want. If you're watching the video, you're helping me, and I appreciate it. If you're commenting, that's adding to engagement, and you're helping me, and I appreciate it. If you are watching, commenting, liking or disliking, subscribing is awesome and helps me. It actually does help me. Like, I did not realize this, but I, uh, so I thought that once you got to a thousand subscribers and were able to, um, you know, do the, what is it, the super chat and like the, the yeah, the super chat thing. Uh, then that was it. The, those were all the milestones. Any subscribers after that are just people who join. But there are more milestones after this. Like there's more things, there's like features of YouTube that are restricted from creators until they hit certain thresholds. I think the next one for me is like 30,000 and then 100,000. So long way to go, but it does help and I do appreciate it. And anyway, I love all you. Thank you very much. I never thought this channel would make it to where I'd ever have, as of my saying this, 13,000 subscribers. Like, that's absolutely mind-boggling to me. We're this close to, like, 2 million views. That... That's insane. Thank you. This video's gone on too long. We are Legion. I'll see you all soon. Also, one final question that I just thought of. What does We Are Legion mean? People have asked that. It's literally just... It's like... Uh, uh, the name that I just thought was would be cool for my fan base because um, I just uh, I don't know I was into horror for a while and that's like a demon from the Bible um, plus there's a group called anonymous uh, who use that term I'm not at all affiliated with them or even agree with them but I think that they're their aesthetic, I guess, looks kind of cool, so I thought it'd be interesting. Um, then also, what was the other? Oh, yeah, like a Roman legion as well was like a number of subscribers that I was trying to get to. So there were a bunch of different reasons behind that uh, name choice. Deathstroke 9 out. See you guys soon. Stay tuned for more videos.